Hi, today I want to talk about the ESP32 and how to use the RGB LEDs APA102. That's a special RGB LED with a controller chip and have also two lines to steer, not only one, to have a data input line and also a clock input line and also a clock output and a data output to steer the next RGB LEDs. So you can daisy chain as many any RGB LEDs as you like. So let's start with the data sheet for the APA 102, the C version from Shiyi Lightning, also called the iPixel LED. It's an RGB LED as mentioned, where you can set the RGB light with 256 levels and you can also set the adjustment for every color by 5 bits or 22 levels. It have also a constant current adjustment so there is no external resistor or current limiting circuit needed. Here is some picture of this. It have a dimension of 5 by 5 millimeters or 50 by 50 so called and you see the data input line the clock input line the ground and the VCC and for the next RGB LED you daisy chain this to the data output and the clock output line that's all and you can use as many as needed and you are only limited by your current source and as you see here the VCC is expected by 5 volt but by experiment this chip can also drive by 3.3 volt very well. So we use it by the ESP32 and it uses 3.3 volt and I use also the 3.3 volt line to drive the RGB LEDs. Let's do a quick view to the programming. You send a start frame then you send the LED frame and at the end of all your LEDs you send an end frame. And the start frame is just four times eight bit and they set all to zero. Then you send first the brightness level with three bits one one one. Then you set the blue level, the green level and the red level for the blue LED, the green LED and the red LED. And then after all this you send the end frame and the end frames all four times eight bits and they are all set to one. And here's a little bit about the timing and how to set the clock level. But you see by the programming it's all easy and here's some sample configuration to daisy chain all the RGB LEDs. So let's have a look at the wiring. I connect the ground to the ground level of the ESP32 and the 3.3 volt line to the VCC line or 5 volt line for the APA102 and or the RGB LEDs. And then I connect the data input line to IO port 23 and the clock input line to IO port 22. But you can use any GPIO port you like. Then I wire up also the UART converter to the ESP32. First we start with the ground so everything has the same ground potential. Then we continue with the receive pin that goes to the transmit line and the transmit pin goes to the receive line. And then I also connect the enable pin wire a resistor to VCC and wire a switch to ground so I can reset my ESP32 and I also connect the IO pin 0 to ground wire switch so I can bring it to the flash mode. Now let's start the Arduino IDE and I show you the programming. So first we define our clock pin at GPIO pin 22 and the data pin at GPIO pin 23. I have daisy chained 60 of the RGB LEDs together but you can set the number here as your scripts have more or less RGB LEDs. Then I define a structure for the red, green and blue and the brightness level. Then there's a function how to write 
one byte via the bus. So all we do is go through a, through a loop and go bit by bit, set the data pin and we set the clock pin to high to transmit the bit to the APA 102 and then we set the clock pin to low to loop the next bit. Here's the start frame, it's just four bytes zero. The end frame, it's just four bytes the one. Then how to write one RGB pixel. We set the 111 and then the brightness. We order this logically. Then we send the blue LED, the green LED and the red LED level. And how to write just one with our structure and this function just write a whole set of RGB LEDs. And here's the setup function. We first initialized our UART just for debugging purposes. Then we set our data pin to low and configure it as an output. Then we set our clock pin to low and also configure as an output. Then we set some loop data and also a seed for the randomizer. I would use the analog pin, but the analog pins don't work today for the ESP32 in the Arduino IDE. So I just use zero. It's not a cryptographic seed, but for RGB LEDs, it's fine. And then we have some random patterns you can have to look at. It's just a random blink. So it's just randomly set some blinking and some brightness levels. Then we have a random fade just set for all the LEDs uh, the same color and fade in and fade out. Then we have a walk just one LED is blinking and goes step by step through the strip. Then the same backwards. Then we have a random step. So it not just set one LED, it steps up every time the next LED and the same reverse. Then we step backwards the steps and also a reverse step up. Then we just set some single LEDs and in the loop function we bring it all together. So we have a nice RGB blinking effects and they all goes in a loop. And let's have a practical look to the demonstration on the bench. Here you see all the LED light effects with the step up, step down, the fade in, fade out and total random blinking. Some of our effects are repeated, so they go fast then a little bit slower and slower and then ramps up the speed again. And here the breadboard set up, all wires go to the ESP32. Here you see the data and clock line wired up by GPIO pin 22 and 23. Here are the power and ground line go to the same ground line for the ESP32. And here you see the starting LED with the four lines, the voltage, the five volt, or in our case, the three points revolt, the data in, the clock in and also the ground and on the output of one LED there is the 5 volt line, the data output goes to the data input for the next LED, the clock output goes to the clock input to the next LED and the ground is connected all together. So let's switch out the light and just watch the LEDs blinking in the darkness. Um, I could look at this the whole day. Maybe it's the season and today. So everything outside is blinking. And while the days are getting shorter and shorter in my region, so everyone laughs if there's some light. So relax and just watch the LEDs blinking. So as always, thanks for watching today and I hope you learned something. If so, please give me a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you and have a great day. Bye bye.